Hey everyone, my name is Chris. Welcome to my channel. I'm in Central Texas and we are frozen. It's cold here. And it's been this way for about a week now. We got, we got one of these uh, northerners come through it's been getting down to earlier in the week. Today's, today's Thursday, Monday, Tuesday. It was down to like four, five, six degrees for the lows at night. Nobody was prepared for this. Um, it's pretty wild, pretty crazy. We've been blessed that we haven't lost power, but pretty much everybody we know, all of our friends and family have. We've got friends and family all over the state and um, there's been quite a few roll of blackouts. A lot of people have not had electricity for um, three or four days now. So uh, the power grid here in Texas is privately owned and they, nobody was just prepared for it. Everybody's you know done the best they can. Fuel is kind of uh, hard to come by because a lot of gas stations are taking cash only. Um, the ones that don't have power and then um, supply trucks are having having trouble getting in or they're just not taking the risk of um, getting out on the icy roads the heb grocery store here in town is only opening from noon to five the past couple of days so there's been long lines to get in and it's been slim pickings um, anyways when you do get in so uh <clears throat> i thought i'd make a video on this because this is kind of an, a historic historic weather event this is probably a 100 year um event that you know my kids may not see again hopefully cross our fingers I, those of you that, have, that are following the channel I, I apologize it's been a while since i made a video i've been busy as you can tell um, i've got the lean twos and i've got a shop edition um done that's kind of what i've been working on so um i'll do a video on that later on if uh, some of you are interested but um, i thought i would just uh make a quick video to show how we've been dealing with it here in Central Texas. A lot of you have gotten hit real hard. Whoa, almost fell. And y'all are hanging in there the best you can. So those of you that have farm animals, you know, y'all, you have to feed them. You know, if you're having to put hay out every day for your cattle or horses or whatever, you know, we weren't, most of our tractors and trucks don't have uh, cold weather packages or, or block heaters. So diesel fuel, um, has been gelling over diesel fuel additive has is sold out uh, quickly right when this weather started to hit so it's been hard to find um, fuel additive my truck when it got down to four we had to go to the grocery store that day to stock up on food and I could get my truck started I had to put a these heat lamps here I'll talk about that in a second but I had to put I got two heat lamps I had to put those on uh, the fuel filter underneath the truck and then I have another fuel filter underneath the hood I had to put those on the fuel filters to warm up the diesel fuel because it was all gelled up which took about 30 minutes and uh, finally got my truck started the reason why I have heat lamps on my rims is because if some of you follow the channel you know that to balance the weight of the rear of the tractor I put water in my tires and I said in Texas it will never freeze to where I have to worry about it. Well, here we are. So I've got heat lamps on them trying to prevent them, the water from inside freezing. You know, we're at 43 degrees on the heat lamp and away from the heat lamp, it's right at 30. Uh, when it was down in the uh, single digits, that rim was showing 20 degrees. So I may not run that, I'm not gonna run that tractor for a couple of days until that water thaws out completely because I'm sure a chunk of ice in there could cut the tire. And those, those tires are, I think $900 or something crazy. But, and the only other uh, issue we've had is we've got tankless hot water heaters and they're mounted on the outside of the home because it never freezes here in Texas. Well, we had some, uh, a, we had a water line that wasn't wrapped about that much right up the, at the bottom of the, the heater and that section froze. Again, we've been, we've been blessed that uh, we haven't lost power. We've 
kept our power usage down as low as possible to conserve power for um, for the grid. You know, PEC sent out a, a big notification asking everybody to conserve power. So we've done the best we can. So for future videos, I'm gonna service the hydraulic system. I've had a couple people ask about that. So um, before hay season kicks off, and I'm also, when I start putting fertilizer and herbicide out, I'm gonna uh, make videos on that. So if you're into farming, mechanicking, um, I know a lot of you subscribe for the flatbed build on my pickup, and you're kind of into fabrication videos. So I, I think I'm, I really wanna build a self unloading round bell trailer. I thought that'd be pretty cool. I'm gonna, I've got some ideas to make a five or six bell trailer, but anyways, I'm gonna get the drone out and uh, get some flyover in this crazy uh, weather. Thank mm -hmm. you.